I'm so genuinely curious why this title is Direct Sunlight. Like, we're gonna be playing volleyball, we're like, ah! and like, miss? Like, that'd be funny. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with episode two of season two. Literally, I'm over here getting confused now of Haikyuu. Last episode, we have plans to practice in Tokyo to get. I play against a bunch of other teams to get better in order to beat Alba Josai and Shiro Torizawa in the spring preliminaries, go to nationals, be amazing, do our thing, fuck Ushijima in his butt cheeks, you know how we do. I'm gonna cut to the bullshit and let's just get right in there. You guys know how it goes. Remember, if you guys wanna support me and get early access and full length to all these videos, all the videos I have watched in the past, stuff like that, click that Patreon in the description. If you guys wanna support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the algorithm, pushing me out there in a beautiful people's faces. I appreciate you so much. Let's hop into this. Q Season 2, Episode 2, Direct Sunlight. That was something else I forgot. No failing classes, right? Double digit? Wait, he's never gotten double digits on his scores? That's less than 10%. At least four. <laughs> this is hilarious. I hope this is like a test taking, study taking episode. I love that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Imagine high Q filler. That'd be hilarious. If you think about it like that, if you just use your motivation for volleyball and, you know, attribute that to your schoolwork and grades, you should be okay. Oh, he's gonna swallow his pride and ask him for help. Yep. That's definitely a. He just says no. <laughs> They're your teammates. You gotta help them out. He's so petty. He is so petty. <laughs> what? Kageyama's hilarious. That was hilarious, but I am glad Tsukushima is going to be helping us out. So, Kyoko's actively looking for first years to join clubs that aren't in any clubs. Is that how the new girl's going to join? He's going to get a manager's assistant. That's what I'm guessing the other girl is going to be. I can't wait to learn Japanese one day. That's one of my bucket, bucket list goals. So if you got signals down that fast, there's no way you can't learn English. Come on. You're bullshitting us at this point. You just got to think like a volleyball player. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm saying. Come on, bro. Is this Tanaka's place? Psycho? Who is this? Tanaka has a hot sister? Has a hot college sister? I agree. Yeah. That'd be dope to have Inoshita be able to tutor you. Ooh, my boy Kanma. Oh, that's so nice of him to text him before his prelims. Do your best. Oh, look at you, not just little sister. Uh, we're totally going. We're going to win this time. Just you wait. Hell yeah. He's always screaming. How can people be mad at Asta screaming? He not just screams goddamn every episode. His ears is growing. 
We got improvements. This has literally just been a studying episode. I still love it. Maybe she already found them. Seeking members, please. <gasps> the new girl! Oh, so she was just... I wonder if she's just saying that, like, girls say, like, other girls are pretty, or if she's actually, like, a lesbian. I wouldn't be surprised. She just seems so infatuated, you know? She just took her answer without even thinking about it. I absolutely would not be surprised either way if she was just, like, because Kyoko's that beautiful that she just shocks everyone like that, or if she was lesbian. I wouldn't be shocked. Yashi Hitoka. Oh, Yamaguchi has a crush. <laughs> hey, I won't lie, as a freshman, or I guess technically because these guys are two years younger, sophomore, talking to a senior, that's nerve-wracking. I wouldn't call him sir, though, but I, I get where she's coming from. I agree. It's sad to think the third years are going to go on, you know, but we are going to get stronger. <laughs> They're all like, that was so beautiful. <laughs> During business hours, this man is something else. What about her? Uh huh. Hey, doesn't hurt to ask her. Oh, she's a part of the smart class. Oh, that happens to me all the time. Because you can't remember names? Jesus. She's hilarious, though. <laughs> I love him. I mean, I don't think you could be any meaner. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I really... I wish I knew her telephone number. Oh yeah, I loved people back in high school who would color coat things with highlighters and were... Like, that's such a good talent and stuff to be able to pick up during that age. Helps you so much later in life. Yeah, see? She's on top of it, bro. She's killing it. See? But she she doesn't seem... And she's, she's not calling any of them else cute. She only called Kyoko cute, but she seems to be nervous and just, like, shocked by everything. So I have no idea. I love people who are passionate about things. <laughs> She's just overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, she knows nothing about volleyball. They're giving her their whole fucking volleyball life story. We have met a fuck ton of crazy good players, though. He's like, you're so small. Ooh, I love how the sun hits him, causing some shadows on his face as he says that. Yeah, she just feels like a very timid person. She naturally came up with that nickname. Oh. Oh, is that a, is that a thing people say? I didn't know that. The little giant. Maybe that's how his nickname originally started as well. I didn't know that was a thing that was known. <laughs> that's true. Good man, Kageyama. So, she's very timid, very nervous all the time. So, seeing someone who's also very... Should be very timid and very nervous stand up against people who are much bigger helps her get inspired, you know? Direct sunlight. Shouts out the title. Plug it. <laughs> I love how she's running up. Did I see a 21%? He definitely improved, though, if he wasn't making double digits. That's insane, though. He's so bad. She's like Zenitsu. Of this. Of Haikyuu. She's the Zenitsu of Haikyuu, for sure. Oh. 
this man is legendary. And now looking back on it, we must have been insane if we won the preliminaries back in the day. Like, to go to nationals back in the day, we were nasty. I love even Kyoko's determination. Yeah, because she doesn't seem so determined really about anything, you know. Uganishi. And insisted. Oh, yeah. L's to the yeah. Uganishi. I wonder as well. I wonder if it's Uganishi or Auganishi. I need to listen more. She, she just seems so taken back by everything. So we'll definitely say I think I'm wrong in my lesbian call out of Yachi. Just she called Kyoko. I mean, she is gorgeous. I can't even. That's why I was saying I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't. Because I wouldn't be shocked if everybody just thinks Kyoko's that gorgeous, you know? But she, from my opinion, seems to be someone who's very nervous, very timid about everything, mis misjudging people. So the fact that she is seeing such determination and such resolve from these people, I think is going to kind of solidify her and make her a more, more of a, de depend not dependable, because she is dependable, but like more of a sturdy person. That doesn't even make sense, but sturdy is the word I'm trying to say. I'm trying to look for a good word for sturdy. But fantastic episode. I love the studying. It really was just a studying episode. I love Tsukushima helping, Yamaguchi. I am glad we met the new girl, Yachi. Kyoko, amazing as always. Uh, the practices. Tanaka's sister, oh my lord. It's like Bakugo's mom for me. Like, just my new wife. Oh my god, Tanaka, where are you hiding such a fucking sister? Like, I need to go to Tanaka's for some studying, guys. I think I failed my math test, and I'm not even in school no more. You know what I'm saying? That was a fucking amazing episode, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. I will see you guys in this next episode. Thank you, Dabber Squad. Have a great night. Peace out, guys.